Hi everybody, today I'd like to introduce you to the brand new but very important feature in Bryson. It's the development plan and I believe that we are the only application in golf that offers the evaluation of the development plan in real time. So what does it actually mean? Basically you can now speed up the player's development because when something goes wrong or even well you see it straight away and you can react to it. So let's have a look at how it works. But first, I would like to say congratulations to Caitlin Pop, who has successfully qualified to the LPGA Tour. C Caitlin has been using Bryson since March 2021. She kindly agreed to use her data to let me explain how the development plan in Bryson works. Because even when you get to the LPGA Tour, you can't stand still. To stay competitive, every player needs to keep improving, developing her or his game, as well as fitness and mental skills. So, what is the development plan all about? It starts with analyzing players' performance data and identifying the area that needs to be developed. Based on that, you set goals for the season. During the season, you watch in real time how is the player achieves his or her goals. And based on that, you can adjust the preparation and training plans for the player. You don't have to wait until the end of the season with the, with the evaluation. Therefore, you are not wasting the pre precious time of the player. Now. Let's go to the Caitlin's plan. I made, I made the plan as if it was created last May when Caitlin turned pro. So let's imagine that she and her coach set the goals for the rest of the season of 2021. Have a look how they did it and how you generally create a development plan. So I'm now in the Caitlin's development plan and they, the way they did it was they decided for what period of time is the development set. So they it starts in the 1st of June 2021 and it's planned out until the end of the last year. It's called the First Time Pro 2021. First thing they had to do was choosing the parameters after the analysis of the player's game statistics, what parameters they want to follow, what parameters they want to set the goals for. So you're basically setting the parameters easily by clicking on these buttons. And all the green buttons means that the parameters are included in the development plan. So you can choose from many parameters which we include uh, in the game statistics in Bryson and also in the training diary or training journal. But not all the parameters for and the uh, goal settings uh, is uh, based on the parameters which we can measure. So you can also define your text boxes and name it for the written goals which the player and the coach is setting. So these are the names of the text boxes I'm going to use in Caitlin's development plan. Then you can structure uh, the ordering of the development plan. So if you want to have the motivational goals up here, you just simply move it in the plan. I want to have the motivational goals on the top and it auto saves the order. Next step is setting the goals. You're not only uh, comparing the results of the player to the goals they set with a coach, but we also compare the results and the numbers to the past values of the game statistics. So to get the past values, you need to first define, define uh, the time period from which you will take the data. So in case of Caitlin, we took the data from the beginning of 2021. So altogether, it's these 10 rounds of golf she played. If there was a round which you would 
not like to include in uh, in uh, in the past values you can simply take these rounds out I'll put it back and you can calculate the past values of the game statistics into the development plan so when you are then setting the goals for the player uh, you can see the previous or the past period values like for average score at the beginning of the last season before she turned pro uh, she uh, had an average score of 71.3 and we set together the goal of 70.8 for the rest of the season and the same way you're having the past values in the left boxes and in the right you're setting the goals you can also include uh, the text note so you can uh, further describe what you want from the player to do to improve in in this area so that's uh, the notes or the comments of the coach to the, each of the parameters and these are the text uh, goals the the goals she she's uh, she said for the season the motivational goals she wanted to get her first professional win make the cut on the us open make the cut on symmetra tour and qualify to the lpga tour she set some fitness goals you can add the link linking to the videos anything you need to include in that and she also set some mental game goals for herself for the rest of the season and she also went even uh, further into the detail on some of the parameters like setting the goals on average birdies or better per round from 3.5 to 4 and when you save it you, you can then go into the preview of the development plan where you can in real time follow how the player is doing how the player is achieving the goals that he said and also to seeing how the player is doing compared to the uh, to the past values he or she had uh, in let's say in the in the last season for uh, so let's have a look on Catherine's average score uh, at the beginning of the season before she set the plan she was 71.3 the goal was 70.8 and you can see here in the green that she improved by 0.52 uh, against the past value and also she improved 0.02 uh, against the goal she set so she achieved the goal that she and her coach set for this period of time uh, you can see in on this side of the current values in the green the improvements in the red when uh, the player is uh, doing worse than in the in the past value and the same on the right side when it relates to the to the goal uh, they set with a coach so it gives you a very very quick idea on how you are doing in each of the parameters and you can even go into the and seeing the chart for some of these parameters to help you understand better how you're performing so just take a look on the improvement of the short game uh, and save shots for Caitlin in the second part of the season in scrambling up and downs and putting she made a huge improvement not only against the past values but she overachieved uh, on the goals she set when I go into the let's say to the up and downs you can see in the chart uh, when she with the red line is in the green she is achieving the goal when she's in the red uh, she is not achieving the goal so it's pretty straightforward for any player to understand the data and be able to read the data from the development plan and yeah when i go down here there are the motivational goals the fitness goals she said mental game goals and the further 
uh, parameters from the game statistics she wanted to follow. Uh, again, I would like to pinpoint the uh, short game converted numbers. It's the proximity to the hole on the short game. Uh, she was uh, getting much and much better in the end of the season in saving saving pars. Uh, so she was converting nearly uh, over 90% of the shots she got into two meters uh, from the hole when she played around the green, which is obviously very good. So this is how the uh, development plan looks like. When uh, you want to use the plan or create a plan, uh, it can work two ways. You can either do the uh, create a new development plan for a player or the player can create the development plan for himself or herself uh, or you can create a template I've got one template in here for the purpose of this video what I would like to show you is that you can either use the template for uh, the players so it uh, it makes your job of a coach much easier and it saves you time because you're using the same template and you can just uh, you can just uh, change some of the parameters for the players. Uh, but also, if you create the template and you want to share it with some other user of Bryson, you just click on the share button. And if you know the login email of that user, I'll type in my email. Then you can share the template with anyone else and they can then use your template for their players uh, to be used for creating the development plan. So I share the template of the training plan uh, of the development plan and that's it. I can also, the development plan I created for Caitlin hasn't been published yet, so I can publish the development plan and it's just letting me know that when I publish the development plan, uh, the notification email will be sent to the user and also to the coach or coaches of the player that are connected to the player in Bryson. So, uh, as I said before, the development plan can be created by the coach and assigned to the player, or it can be develop, uh, uh, it can be created by the player uh, himself or herself if the player is more mature. Uh, or doesn't work with any coach, it's also an, an option. Uh, I believe this is a, a great platform to start to work also with the training plans because once you identify the areas uh, you want to improve with the player, then you can uh, really focus on it in the, in the training plans, which you can also see in the knowledge base, the video, how to use the training plans. And uh, many of the players and the coaches are uh, using it at the moment and getting getting quite a good results with it. So I would encourage you start with the development plans and then turn into the training plans to really use the structure of the application for the players to be able to to improve. So thank you for watching. If you have any troubles. Uh, getting the development plan done, just uh, let me know, email me, call me, uh, whatever. I'll do my best to help you and I hope you enjoy it. Bryson overall and uh, take care everyone. Bye-bye.